Hi, I'm Di, I'm the Director of Parramatta Clay and Arts and we're based in Hunter Street, Parramatta. Today I'm demonstrating how to make a bowl out of a piece of white earthenware clay. This is a good lesson for a beginner and your bowl hopefully will look like this when it's finished. In this demo, making the bowl, there's a few steps. And the first step is anchoring the clay to the wheel head so that the water doesn't allow the clay to slip off. The next step is to center the clay. After that, we cone the clay up and down into a pyramid shape so that we've got it centered. And then we start to open a hole in the middle of the pot and bring the walls up to form the bowl. So I've put my bowl of clay on the wheel and now I'm just making sure that it won't fall off when I add the water. So already it's getting centered. Here's some water. What I'm doing is just called coning up and then we push it down. Squeeze it from the bottom. And this is called centering. So as you can see, my hands are very still. And if I wasn't still, the clay would be running all over the place. If it's not centered, it looks like this. So if I center it, back to looking nice and smooth. Now I'm going to put my thumbs in the middle and just form a base at the bottom. And with two fingers, I'm just going to open the body up, a bit more water. And now we're going to bring the walls up. So you work on one side. And I'm just bringing the walls out a little bit to make it a wider bowl. I often use this tool here just to give me a smooth, smooth finish. Smooth off the edges. We have a bowl. This is a cutting wire and this is for cutting the clay off the wheel. You can use fishing liners on a stick too if you don't have this cutting wire. And then we just lift the clay pot up like this and pop it on the board. I'm just adding some colour into it now. This is um, a blue slip made from the same clay but with a blue coloured stain added to it. So you can put this on now or later when the pot's a little bit drier. But if you put it on now, you'll get some pretty fun effects. After your pot is finished, it has to dry. Then it's taken into the kiln room and put through the kiln to a bisque firing of 1000 degrees. And then you reglaze it to make it bright and shiny and it fires again to a higher temperature. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Now that your bowl is finished, it's been glazed, colored and ready to use and it will last you forever. Get in touch with Parramatta Clay and Arts online or visit us in the studio. We'd love to see you.